Hello website owners and marketeers, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a powerful website engagement tool called Answerly Banner. As always, we are here to provide you with honest reviews and explore tools that can enhance your website's performance. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our latest content. Now let's explore the world of Answerly Banner. So here we have Answerly Banner. First of all, we're going to check out its pricings. Then we're going to check out the lifetime deal running for it. As you can see, first of all, we have a free plan, which is going to give us one pop up, one domain Answerly branding. And the pro one is going to give us unlimited pop ups, unlimited domains and all features. So uh, here one pop up is going to be 500 megabytes per month Answerly one face pop okay so one face pop 500 megabytes per month answerly branding uh, so we, they're gonna provide answerly branding with it because uh, it's free plan how else will they make money right and then we have banner one banner limited customization answerly branding included then we have knowledge base limited cms limited customization answerly branding all right, so on the pro plan, we have unlimited pop-ups, unlimited domains and all features, one terabyte traffic per month, unlimited, unlimited widgets targeting full customization, unlimited widget targeting dynamic content, full customization, custom domain. Then we have, then on knowledge base, we have custom domain, unlimited CMS, full customization templates and reports. Now let's go ahead and check out lifetime deals for Answerly. Answerly lifetime deal. Oops, I tapped down lifetime dead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna change it to lifetime deal. First of all, we have deal mirror here, and then we have lifetime, which is gonna redirect us to AppSumo, and this one also redirects to AppSumo, also AppSumo. All right, so we have SAS Pirates. Uh, no, Pirate doesn't sound good. We have AppSumo here. All right, let's check out these two. So in Deal Mirror, we're gonna have Answerly Banner Lifetime Deal, which is gonna create us unlimited widgets for only $29. So it's gonna save us like 70% almost because $99 to $29. And what oh, what are we getting in this deal? Unlimited page views, unlimited banner widgets, color studio, font studio, background patterns. Hurry, only 168 licenses are left, so no need to hurry. We can have as many licenses as we need. Now let's go ahead and check out AppSumo. Well, AppSumo, it's costing, uh, wow, it's costing $20 much. As you can see, it's 29 here and it's 49 here. So and in AppSumo, you're going to be uh, paying $49, which is uh, much comparing to Deal Mirror. And now let's see why it's uh, costing $20 much. So it's best for bloggers, SAAS, small businesses, and it has integration with Calendly, Google Sheets, MailChimp, Mail, MailerLite, Notion. All right, so it's an alternative to Video Ask. And the features are GDPR compliant, AI, white label, and SNAME. All right, so scrolling down, let's check out what else it's offering us. So we have a deal and terms condition lifetime access to Answerly Face Pop. You must redeem your codes within 60 days of purchase. Uh, all feature plan updates, this deal is stackable. All right, so we have 60 day money back guarantee. You can try it for two months and make sure it's right for you. So if it's not right for you, you can just return the application and get your entire money back. And let's see what else we're getting offered. Unlimited face pops, unlimited page views, unlimited widgets, one terabyte traffic per month, 10 seats, call to action feature, personalization, color studio, font studio, target visitors, performance reports and data share as link. All right, as you can see, we are getting a lot with only one code and yeah, only one code is available. So I guess uh, if you want that tw uh, 60 days money back guarantee, then you should spend the extra 20 on AppSumo uh, or else if you want to save a few bucks, you, you're certain that you want the application, then you can go with Deal Mirror. Now a little brief about Answerly, okay? Answerly Banner is an innovative website engagement platform that aims to increase user uh, interaction and conversation on your website. It provides customizable banners that display helpful messages to your visitors. 
turning them into engaged and satisfied customers. Now let's go ahead and sign up our seven days free trial. We can sign up with Google, which is really convenient. Let's go ahead and use Google to sign up. So here we go, embed via iframe for pop-up hero. So here we have, so here we have pop-up, pop-up hero, I mean page pop, pop-up hero, banner, contact support, count settings, and you can redeem a code. So you just buy a code from AppSumo and redeem it and you get all the features for lifetime. All right, let's see what's here. Answerly iframe, embed via iframe. All right, so we have the setting here, builder templates. Okay, so iframe embeddable, you can access pop-up heroes iframe features. Now let's go ahead and try banner here and pop-up hero. So we are gonna try pop-up hero or banner. Let's go ahead and check out banners. This is an example banner. Write in bold, italic, underline, add emojis and links. All right, so that's the example of banners. Now, how do I, how do I like, change the banners. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, so here we go. The page didn't quite didn't load fully. That's why we were not able to see these settings. Now, let's go ahead and try picture and author. Don't show picture. Okay, so these are pro features. If you want to show picture, uh, may float mode, addition on page, design pattern. And here, these are free features. You can align your text to the center, left or right. So we're gonna align our text to the center because it looks great. And here is their branding, which is uh, for the free version, uh -huh. they are gonna provide their branding. And on the, here is the corner settings. Uh, you can select cornered, it will be fully square. If you select dubbed, it will be a little rounded. And then if you select rounded, it will have rounded corners. Then link design, it will be like button. It's gonna be fancy or it's gonna be normal, as you can see. So uh, in my opinion, the button one looks uh, the most beautiful. So we're gonna just keep that. You can hide the close button and make sure your users are unable to close the banner. But I'm just gonna show it because if the user is unable to close the banner, it's really annoying. All right, so uh, where did my banner go? Let's refresh the page and get back our banner. All right, the banner is back. Oh man, we need to re-edit again. Okay, round uh, button will be, okay, link design will be button. All right, so here's the vertical padding, how much uh, you wanna pad on the vertical. So although we are positioning it on top, you know, we can do the, we can increase the vertical padding and move it downwards, as you can see. We are moving more downwards and make it come down. Yeah, but that's, that doesn't look good, okay? So we're just gonna make sure that it has decent padding. No, not too much. All right, 20 padding is decent, so let's keep it. Then we have Shilak Shadow. Well, without shadow, it looks like a 2D something well, that's not really good. So we're gonna keep the shadows, okay? And then we are gonna select Apply. Now we are gonna, uh, okay, close this one. We are gonna go to content and here it is. This is an example banner. You can write in underline, add emojis and links. All right, let me try and add more emojis. Okay, uh, it doesn't work like that. We're gonna select this emoji and do it here. We're gonna hit more emojis. There we have it, and uh, the URL. So we can't set the link URL. Oh man, where did the link go? Oh, that's uh, that's weird because I can't set. I can't even set the link uh, for my banner. Here it is. Yeah. So when I insert something like this, the, then the link button is just going away. Well, I don't want that to happen, so I'm not touching these contents, and I don't know why if, if I add something, the link button just goes away. It's not it's not really convenient. So you guys should just edit here first, then you should go to these side contents, like what are in 
the color studio look and feel so first we are gonna edit these then we are gonna move to look and feel otherwise the links button is just gonna change back to its normal form then we have color studio we can change the color of the form which is also pro that's why we are not able to change it but we can we can change some of the colors as you can see we are gonna make it a little lighter and a little darker all right this color looks great so we're just gonna keep that color we can change the color of our text too so let's select the color of our text yeah it's just mixing up with the link so I'm just gonna change it to something else Although it does not look so good. So we're just gonna keep the white. Then we have link background. Okay, so we can change the link background too. But we should select some deeper color because the text is white and unless we select deeper color, the text will not be visible very well. So here we go. Then we can also edit the link text. Well, now the link text is visible. All right, so it, it looks good now. The close button should be red color. And here is the shadow. So we can change the shadow. Well, we give a different shadow color. Yeah, this looks good. So we're gonna apply it. Now look, now look how fancy our banner looks guys. Now we're gonna scroll down font studio. We can change fonts if we had the pro version. Then we have font family. We have text size. We can increase the text size if necessary. And the banner size will increase. So we're not gonna increase the text size too much. We're just gonna fit it into the entire banner and keep this one. Then we have, then we have the link size. We can increase the link size if necessary. So we're gonna increase it a little bit not too much all right so making it 24 and the text size will be 23 now this one looks better so then we have behavior so how would the form behave after closing the banner uh, show on the next page visit visit so after closing the banner show on the next page visit so uh, we can select that or either when scrolling on your page follow as you scroll so when we are scrolling, the banner will stay on top. So that's their behavior. We can change the behavior if we had pro plan. So as you can see, you can do lots of things with pro plan on the Ansible banner. Then we have Ansible branding and others, which is <laughs> these. And we have custom code, which we can use uh, to embed the banner to our website. And also, if you don't want to code too much, then we have instant embedding connect to website. As you can see, you can just insert your website and it will be connected, but I don't want to connect it. I'm just testing out the banner, so I'm not going to insert it on my website. Now we are done with banners. So now we are going to try pop-up hero. So here it is, pop-up hero. Let's check out my pop-up. Right, this is my pop-up. Okay, so let's go to the pop-up builder. We are gonna be able to select a cover image. Alt for image. We can browse stock pictures and alt text will be alt for image. No way, it's gonna be, since it's the cover image, alt text will be cover image. And we are gonna select block settings, image settings. You cannot set with because the image stretches across the block by design. All right. Now, can't we upload any image here? Okay, we can upload an image. Let's go ahead and upload something from our downloads folder. We are going to upload Steve Jobs. Yeah, because he looks great. Yeah, no, we're going to need a longer picture. So let's go ahead and pick this guy. Yeah, it's still not looking good. We're gonna need a, a wider picture, I guess. How about this dolphin?
Yeah, so we're gonna keep this dolphin here. Now we have selected cover image. We're gonna select headline, which is learn to create professional looking pop-ups with Ansley. And we can select its style, uh, font uh, alignment, which is center, font color, font size and pixels, etc. Then we have the paragraph, which is this one. Then we have the email collector, which is this uh, section here where we're gonna type down our email. Or you can add more blocks like text input, images, image to text, logo, you can add promotion, email collection, countdown timer, image with text, you can add button, list, horizontal buttons, we are gonna add a button which is gonna close the pop-up. And its appearance, button text, text inside the button will be close. Theme, I'm not gonna change the theme. Well, text style will be uh, what it is. And let's just select, here's the submit button. Right, so I guess this is the button that closes the form. All right. On click, close pop-up. On click, open URL, how about now? But where is not the button that I have said? How about if I just delete this button now? Well, that's totally a different button. I didn't know where my button went. I'm just gonna close this window. So it's here, let's go ahead and zoom out a little. And then we are gonna try adding another button. Action, button, do nothing, close the pop-up. I don't know where it went. You should just tell me where it went. Okay, how about theme color changing to white? Okay. Close. Save. Now where did it go? I wonder if the button is here. Or oh, the pop-up is gone. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that the button is down here. Oh, I didn't save it. How sad. Okay, we're gonna set the picture again. Here we go. All right. Where did it go? Closing, selecting the image. Okay, it's not gonna select that image anymore. How about another one? Yeah, it's not gonna select the image anymore. It's It has some problem with some websites that they don't select the same image again and again. Cover image. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Still, let's add block and then we can select button again. This time we're gonna select a different color than our background, okay? So that we can see the button. And we're gonna select close. Button action will be do nothing, okay? Here it is. So it was white color and a white text. That's why we couldn't see the button. All right, now we can, we're gonna delete the button. We just saw how the button works. We can add a list of horizontal buttons. Let's see how the horizontal button works. Here's the horizontal button. It has two at the same time. So we can add socials. Uh, you can add social media links. You can add other email, others with email collector. Wow. So and other we have email collector countdown timer, which was there actually, and we have button here again. So I guess these are just redundant. Video, YouTube, etc. We have code, HTML, iframe. Then we have Google Map integrations. Okay, so that's. Cool. We're just gonna apply, and then we're gonna go to templates. Ooh, there is a lot. There are a lot of templates here, guys. As you can see, I'm gonna select this template, and the entire form changes. How about this one? Yeah, I'm just gonna select this template. Then we have look and feel. You can change the image. Let's try changing the image. 
yeah the background image has been changed but uh, since, because I changed the background image the text is not visible anymore so now we are gonna have to select a good color for the text now here is the close button icon which you can choose yeah this one is a unique so I'm gonna take this one then we are gonna apply the settings after that we have AI content writer other colors background color well background color will be this one the on the bottom since this is the background color close button color okay close button color is okay we have shadow color we have overlay color we're gonna change the shadow color just like the previous one green neon it looks cool then we have behavior custom coding and other options but what i didn't got i mean what i didn't get is how to change this text color so we're gonna go to builder again go to heading okay so here is the text color changer and we are gonna change the text color so that it's visible on the uh, background image now the text is visible on the background image again so now the text is visible on the background image and we are able to read it so that's how you can create a pop-up uh, hero now we are going to close it all right we have closed too much we're going to close this one So we're gonna go to home page and now we're gonna create a face pop. So uh, in my face pop, it's gonna be something like this. This is face pop, a widget for your website that you can use to get personal with your customer. Schedule a meeting, ask for a review or share the link. Simply upload, customize your widgets look to your heart's content. So here is the face pop. You can add your uh, you can add your video from here, but uh, we are not adding any other videos here because we don't have a video ready so I'm going to show you guys with this video then we have call to action full screen URL input to text redirect to URL so Tent the... and let face pop do the rest this is up a widget for your website that these are the latest update here is the latest update uh, my email and sign up so yeah, content writer how it looks and feel so in the left side shadow will be medium dim or no shadow at all spotlight yeah that looks better show play icon well it's just playing okay so on mouse hover now that one looks better then we have color studio so the video title is gonna be which color well, the white color is visible at this video so I'm just gonna keep the white color and I'm gonna close this one then we can also set a uh, custom picture profile so let's go ahead and, and set a picture profile and see if it replaces the video apply okay so the picture goes here that's pretty cool the picture is not getting in the way then we have custom code for custom CSS and custom JS we have others which is the answer Lee banner etc which is our pro features then we have the get link get QR code instant embed in we can preview our we can preview as you can see paste pop answer Lee IO by using this click see how pop-up looks on your website now we are previewing the pop-up on our website as you can see we are going to be able to scroll the website like this and the pop-up will show on the this is face one. pop a widget for your website that you, you can just minimize it and it will still go without creating volume then we have web hooks and web locks so all the customizations are here you can add videos 
call to action you can have full screen url you have input text you have cta and everything so as you can see guys you can use answerly uh, you can use answerly io to i mean answerly io is a website so mainly you can use answerly banners to create so many customization and interaction options for your website uh, which will make your customers m interact more with you and your website so guys thanks for joining us today as we explore answerly banner if you're interested in trying out this fantastic website engagement platform you can find the link in the video description below if you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow website owners and marketeers. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest reviews and website optimization tips. If you have used Answerly Banner before or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, elevate your website engagement with Answerly Banner. See you in the next video.